Hey guys, John Doe Gaming here, back with another Clash Royale episode, guys. And today I have a special, special treat for you guys. I have the one and only Colton W83 here. What's up, Colton? How's it going, brother? Uh, yeah, I'm doing good, man. You? Oh, uh, dude, I'm doing great, man. Thank you so much for coming on the channel, man. Uh, really glad to have you on. Guys, this dude is amazing. Uh, he is one of the top pros, I think, out there right now. He just took second in the Queso Cup. How was playing in that, Colin? Was that some nerve-wracking stuff or what, man? Yeah, it was fun. Uh, disappointing that I didn't get first because I was up two to one. And yeah, but, I'm sure you'll uh, take. I still got, I still got paid. So. <laughs> Absolutely, brother. That's awesome. All right, guys. So, uh, what? Hey, Colin. Before we get into the um, into the segment, man, what are your thoughts on the uh, on this retro on this retro challenge they got going on? I really like any like special event they do. It's it's really superior to like previous games like Clash of Clans. I think in Clash Royale that they've had really cool ideas, with challenges, um, especially Chucky Two, which has been my favorite. But this retro challenge is gonna be really cool, and it'll give all these like nostalgic people a, a way to go back and uh, play the game the way it used to be. Right, right. Have you uh, have you seen like I know a lot of people are talking about that Jason deck. You think that's gonna do pretty good? Yeah, for sure. I mean, any deck that was good in that meta is gonna be good now. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of things that like no longer will exist, like spellbait and uh, graveyard and lava loon, that type of stuff. So it'll be it'll be fun. Yeah. So is there any like tips you want to give anybody like for for doing this challenge? Like what you think would be strong? Um, I I mean a lot of these defensive shooting chart. Uh, defensive targeting troops like giant and and hog and these kind of like intermediate tanks are going to become a lot better so just due to like the things that are no longer available like spell bait graveyard blah balloon so i think all those things will be good yeah. uh, i don't think you need to bring as much air defense and you'll be able to stack ground things that's why mini pick is a lot better and stuff like that right that's awesome yeah dude how fun was the 2v2 battles man that, i was like i was bummed out when it finished that was the most fun thing I think they've ever brought to the game. Like, what did you think about that? Oh, I, it was really fun. I got to play with, like, Yarn, and that was super awesome. And uh, a few other people. It's really fun. It's fun to get on a call and, to, like, communicate. And it's fun to come up with weird deck ideas and just to work together. So I enjoyed that. Yeah, it was pretty fun, man. I know I, me and myself, like, I played a lot with my buddy uh, Clutches, and we went up against, like, Hammers teams. And, I mean, at the very end, we started trolling, running, like, giant skeleton mirror clones. Like, it was fun. I know we had a blast doing it. Do you think that there's any way that they might actually bring a, um, like, a competitive bracket into that in the future, you think? I mean, to make it competitive and for it to be picked up by competitive players, which I think could very well happen, all they would really need to do is make it battle mode. So, if right. they did that, then uh, we could do it in, in clans, and that would, that would make it competitive. Um, even if they don't support it directly themselves, people would definitely make leagues around it. And uh, I'd be really excited for that. Yeah, I think that would be a really fun thing to go. All right, Colton. Well, anyways, let's get into this segment real quick. I know you don't have much time. You're a busy man. So what's this deck you're going to run for us right now? So it's a bowler spellbait mirror deck. Um, yeah, so you just bait out logs and spells and stuff. And you can win late game by mirroring rockets. And it has pretty good defensive options and pressure. So, yeah, that's what it is. All right, all right, man. Well, you want to jump into a couple for us? Yep, I'll hop into a grand challenge and you can spectate through the plan. All right. Oh, man, I'm excited. Guys, this dude is a genius at what he does, guys. Definitely make sure to check him out on Mastery. And uh, I'll definitely leave a description. Or I'll leave all his information in the description below. So let's jump into this replay real quick. All right, so Colton, if you want to just kind of break down your decisions as you're going. So I mean, right now, just starting furnace, it's fine, it's safe. Okay. Uh, went to the tunnel, like, you know, just like split skeleton army. I have kind of a bad hand right now. But, All right. Uh, awesome. I mean, skeleton. Yeah. He, oh, he just logged. All right. So, like, what what's the main thing you want to do, like, with this deck? Like, are you trying um, to like pretty much just wait out and get an elixir advantage, and then just pretty much bombard them, or like, are you no, just trying you, to? You bait out their spells, and he just wasted logs, so now's really time to go. Good. Time okay. Go okay. He's able to defend that once his tower starts getting tanked and go to another goblin barrel. Oh yeah, you get the and mirror in this deck. He, he did rotate back to uh to the log. So yeah, he rotated pretty, pretty quick there. Wow. But that's okay. Not I really. What do you think about this goblin gang, man? I think it's a really, really strong card. Yeah, very strong defensive card for sure. Yeah, I really liked um I liked your gameplay with it with the uh I think it was like the battle ram bandit deck. I think you had it in there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that deck as well. Nice. 
Even if, yeah, so that was good body block. He wasn't able yeah, to wow, so you just shut that hog push right down. Yeah, boy, it was good counter. Oh, yeah. Wow, man. Well, once again, man, thank you for coming on, man. I'm so excited to actually see you play live. This is so sick. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, the handle's from the dog. All right. So you get the mirror right there. No way he, Go yeah, no way he rotated back to it that spirit. time. No, nice. No. So, no. Wow, a, so pretty much you're just going to chip away at him with this deck like that. Yep, it's a, like a control chip deck, so. Yeah. Uh, and he's done no damage yet. His push is just hog. I thought it was going to be graveyard based off his deck, but it's actually just hog. So. Right, right. Uh, Bull is really good against Hog. So yes. I can actually pre-place my furnaces. Oh, that was really... But, uh, yeah, so even if he to go in the opposite lane... Right, it's I not going to matter because you got Bowler there, yeah, but I bowler, get what you're so saying. Got, you can pre-place your furnace on this deck because you yeah, pretty much know your setup. I don't, I don't setup. have to wait and, like, hold it defensively because I can just use Bowler to counter. Right, right. So uh, he'll log here. Hopefully he takes his time logging because then these in the front will get hit. Yep. Yep. So wow. uh, he, I, I threw it in the back to like made him second guess himself, and this time he waited too long. And uh, yeah. now I don't even need to do Goblin Bear again. I'll just rocket that. It gets oh, wow. Yeah, I forgot you had the rocket in this deck. Wow. Yeah. yeah it's so a, it's, it's like, like nothing. Finish, it's like game over. <laughs> yeah, so. Wow, um, man. I don't need to rocket again because I can just mirror arrow. Oh, yeah, pretty, pretty much. much. I'll have to do something. I don't know. Uh, even if it's like a bad trade, because I just need to not. Not right, right, out. right. Mm -hmm. Wow. Jesus, man. You're such a beast at this game, man. I love watching you play, dude, because you make it you make it look easy, but, like, when, like, like in your videos and in everything else, you just, the way you can break it down and describe it, like, the only other person I know that can, can kind of, like, make it clear to me, at least, I know everybody learns differently, is Isopa. Like, the way you two break it down, like, I've actually been doing lessons with Isopa through Mastery and, um, it's really helped a lot, dude, and uh, that's why I love watching your videos because it's almost like a coaching lesson while I'm watching you play, like, you know what I'm saying, in your videos. Like, I really love yeah. what you do. Yeah, it's, that's the purpose, and uh, I'll try to pump out more videos. <laughs> yeah, sure. oh, yeah, well, you stream a lot, dude. You guys definitely need to check him out on Twitch, too, guys. He's an amazing streamer. I love it. Thanks, dude. Yep. All right, uh, do you want me to play another? Yeah, yeah, you can jump into one more. Um. All right, guys, so let's get into this next one right here. Oh. All right. All right, so that pretty much was easy for you. He barely touched the tower at all, man. Yeah, that's a good game. Sparky. Oh, wow, Sparky deck. Well, you pretty much got all the counters for that, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rocket down. Wow, almost took the princess, too. That's sick. Sparky. Sparky sucks. Sparky, Sparky. So like, so, all right. So Colton, another thing I wanted to ask you is, what's the um, like on like a mentality level, like what's the difference between going into grand challenges and like almost like a competitive play? Cause I'll tell you what, man. Like on my mini accounts, like I have so many. Like this is almost embarrassing to admit. Like I have so many 12 win challenges. There's my daughter. She she loves you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um. Like, what's the difference between, like, a competitive play and, like, a grand challenge play? Like, because I know for me, like, on my mini account, I can get 12 wins like nothing. On my main account that I actually am really strong, like, I've gone a lot farther on ladder. Like, I almost hit 5K last season. Um, I've kind of been prevented this season due to my, you know, my tablet breaking and everything and my phone was cracked. But, um, like... I have like a mental block like with grand challenges like what do you do like when you're like at like an 11 and 2 spot like do you prepare for it differently or do you kind of just like you know calm it down and just you know be like I need to play my game and I need to you know like how do you prepare for stuff like that oh I'd say definitely more like that I just I just calm uh, play calm I don't really sweat it yeah cuz like even like when I've seen you play like in the competitive stuff like it really doesn't seem to to get to you too much, man. Like, you really it, seem to hold your composure real well. It, it did when I first started, but now I've done it so many times that it's it's uh, second nature. But Right, yeah, right. No, when, I, when I first started, I definitely had nerves. Uh, oh, he had mirror, too. Oh, wow. Nice. I nice mirrored defense. arrows. <laughs> and now he's out of elixir because he just mirrored a mini <laughs> Um, No, yeah, at first it was... Oh, this is Rocket Star. Or at least a decent rocket. Um, yeah, it was it was difficult at first, but right. I think and the kind of the thing I told myself at King too was just 
Just uh, play your game, focus on your play, don't worry about anything else, don't worry about how many people are watching. Um, that's kind of the same thing when I stream and when I do YouTube. And uh, you just you just play your game and you don't worry about anything else and typically uh, you end up playing pretty well. And yeah, that, that, keeps, that keeps nerves from getting to you. Yeah, I'll tell you what man, playing while you're streaming can be difficult. Like I just started streaming on Twitch and, uh, and on YouTube gaming a little bit and it's a... Uh, it's a whole different ball game, man. I'm telling you, like, in the beginning, like, it's really hard to be able to, like, conversate with people and play and, like, and play worry about time. if people yeah. are thinking you're not playing well. Like, I'm sure that doesn't affect you too much just because of your caliber of skill. I mean, I'm nowhere near that, but. I mean, at this point, but even even now, if, I, if I'm coming, like, if I'm playing a competitive match on stream, I, uh, I take off my head, headphones and I go silent and just Oh, focus. yeah, because you're in but, the zone, um, huh? I still play pretty good um i mean right. i can still get 12 ones and stuff like on stream while i'm talking and telling them exactly how explaining my play style but i do play a little bit worse but i'm still able to keep up a pretty good play. yeah but see you're a little bit play. worse is better than most people's absolute <laughs> best so yeah i mean i'm able to get 12 ones on. right yeah you seem to get them pretty much on command man well all right, Colton, once again, man, thank you for coming on. Thank you for sharing the deck with us, man. I know this is just a short video, but, again, it means the world to me, brother. Um, I wish you the best, dude, and I know you'll take first on your next tournament. Um, <laughs> is there anything you want to say to everybody out there uh, where they can see you at or anything like that? Um, I, I mean, I have my YouTube. Just search Colton W. Same with Twitch, Colton W. A3. And then on Twitter, it's Colton underscore wall. Yeah, so. All right, man. And you said you are on. doing um, you are doing the Mastery GG thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I forgot. I am also on Master. You can go to Master GG, and I'm coaching on that. All right, all right, brother. Well, once again, man, thank you so much, dude. I just want to say that you are amazing, dude, and you really give guys that are just kind of trying to you know break into all this and start up like you give them hope, man. Because like I'm pretty much new to this man and you came onto my channel dude and that means the world and it just shows what kind of guy you are so once again thank you man and uh guys at home make sure you hit that like button hit the subscribe button and uh leave a comment below for colton or me and i'm sure he'll try to get up with you when he can guys but that's the end of the video remember guys keep clashing have fun while doing it peace